I'm an ambassador for Men's Health Month, and this year the main theme was preventing type 2 diabetes, but there are so many other health issues under the Men's Health Week umbrella. So we've invited father and son ambassadors, Olympic, Olympic canoeists Ian and Steve Ferguson, to join us on the coffee group. So good to have you here, boys. How are you? Right. Good. Good. Yeah. Now, Ian, you are a coach or a motivational speaker as well, so I guess teaching other men about being fit and healthy has been a natural progression for you. Are you enjoying it? Oh, I do enjoy it. Um, a lot of men aren't, don't look after themselves and uh, especially being Men's Health Week, it's uh, a chance to get that message out there again. Now this is a father and son duo and I know that we've always had a little bit of a competition going on here. Uh, Men's Health Week, know your score thanks to Blackmores. What did you get? 26. Oh, 26! I, I okay. smashed it. <laughs> you did. What about you, Steve? What did oh, you get? I'm 40, so he killed me. Oh, yeah. you see, well, I, I, got, to, I need to work on it. I got 60. <laughs> so <laughs> so you, you guys have both smashed me. So it's an important issue. Why did you get involved, Steve? Um, it was a while ago, um, a couple of years ago, when this first sort of started coming up with the what's your score sort of thing and on the Men's Health Week. And um, I basically uh, uh, had a really average rubbish score and I was like I, I need you know I had kids on the way and I thought I need to get involved and um, and I got the phone call and got into it and ever since then I've, I have improved my score good it's really good and I've told people about it and um, we get competitive and this guy now that he's beating me I'm gonna have to <laughs> up my game a little bit and bring my you know try and beat him is that part of the secret to installing fitness do you think in you know having this healthy competition between a father and son because you've probably done this all your life with Steve I mean, you know, what sort of tips would you give people to get their kids involved in being fit and healthy? I think it's just to definitely get your kids into sport. Um, as soon as you get into sport, you want to do well. And with us, there's always been this natural competition anyway. We right. love competing. <laughs> but when you're competing, you start thinking about your body as well, how you can uh, fuel it up and make it go better. So instantly you're thinking about your food and intake as well so that's your food and intake plus your exercise it's all done you don't have to think about anything it's just have fun competing okay that's a good tip so just have fun competitive fun and yeah. then that fitness and health just comes with it so you're a dad yeah. now steve you've got two two kids what do you do to install fitness into them um you know i just have you know i, I lead by example having a healthy lifestyle i try and do small things it's not like doing drastically massive things but just you know small things per day and uh just things like drinking more water um you know healthy choices um still give them you know the, the tasty th you know other tasty things that they want or crave but just water them down and and I guess you can sometimes palm the kids off to granddad, yeah. who you know is going to look after them. Yeah. Yeah. Which is when they get most of their sweets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so this is a very important week, Men's Health Week. Um, people can go and do the Men's Health Week Watch Your Score thanks to Blackmores by going to menshealthweek.co.nz. Um, what message would you think, Ian, you would like to pass down to the generations when it comes to fitness and health? What's one piece of advice we could take away from you? Find a sport that you really enjoy. Right. If you really enjoy a sport, you'll keep doing it, you'll want to do it, and it's not a chore. It's no longer a chore, you do it because you love it. And then, as I said before, looking after yourself will come naturally from that. So, Ian, what got you into sport? Uh, when I was young I just wanted to surf and I went down the beach and saw the surf club there and thought I want a piece of that as well so got into surf life saving then into kayaking. And was your dad a sports person? No, not at all and uh, yeah, I just wanted to surf. Right, so if your family isn't into sport then it's something you can pick up and start and who knows you could be an Olympian before you know it. Very.